Hi, I'm Jarrett Squealy, and welcome to this week's Serpentine Creek Podcast. Hi, I'm Lori Vander, one of the staff zoologists here at the refuge. And this is baby bobcat. That's her typical hello to everybody, which is a very friendly, but that's about that's how she is. And she was rescued um, back in, in 2005. She'd actually been with her previous owner for nine years, and he was deployed to uh, Afghanistan and had no one to look after her. So instead of having you know to put her down or try to figure out where to take her, he had called the refuge, and we were able to rescue her. And we took her in. And actually, after about a year or so of, of uh, having her, we actually introduced her to Dylan. Right now, they're separated. They, uh, we separate them at feeding time so we can make sure they're both getting the correct amount of food at dinner time. But they do live together normally um, throughout the day and, and overnight as well. And they, they actually did pretty well. When we first introduced them, they were a little hesitant of each other. But over time, they've, they actually will cuddle together and sleep together. And they're actually doing uh, really, really well. And she is a 14-year-old bobcat, so she's not very young, but she's still doing pretty good health-wise. And, and if you want to see her and Dylan and all the rest of the cats here at the refuge, you're more than welcome to come out. We are open every single day except for Christmas. And the fall and winter when it's cooler is actually a great time to come. See the cats, they're much more active this time of year. And today was a pretty exciting day for us here. We were able to let three different cats um, out into habitats that have never been out there before. Um, we first, uh, we came up and uh, let out Ringo. And he's been here since he was quite young. He was only probably a few months old when we first rescued him and he's been in a smaller enclosure until today and we um, released him out into the big habitat and like a lot of the cats he initially went out and sort of laid down and ate a bunch of grass which they love to do but he eventually got up and started running around and um, throughout the day he's been in all the way at the bottom and stalking people and, and having a really good time out there. After Ringo um, was released we went up and let out Kitten. Um, she's a, a female tiger. She's actually been here since 1998 so she's one of our um, real old cats. It was pretty amazing to let her out into a habitat. She spent most of her life in a, a smaller enclosure and she was a little hesitant to come out um, which is which is not uncommon for a lot of the older cats have never been on grass. She wasn't really sure what to think of it but she um, eventually went out and laid down and has been relaxing out in the grass for most of the day. Um, she likes to make a lot of funny kind of talking noises and we like to think she's saying thank you for letting her out into a habitat area. And uh, lastly we let Magic out. She actually just, we just rescued her this past uh, winter. She was a leopard that we'd rescued from um, the Branson area and uh, we, we wanted to move her into the, the new leopard building so she could be warm through this winter um, when it gets cold and as the temperature drops we decided to move her in and she actually lives um, and will share a habitat with Zambo and Santania. Now she was pretty nervous coming out. We kept seeing her sort of peek her head out the door um, and she did that for you know a little while this morning and then eventually throughout the day she did come out of the ha into the habitat and laid down and enjoyed the grass and then went back up into her lockdown so it's good that she's sort of figuring out the situation and, and uh, how things work here and we hope that eventually she'll love to be out in her habitat and enjoy it all the time.